All right, all right. I am uh, officially live on the air. Wanted to uh, make sure that everything was going good. So if you can hear my voice, uh, please jump into the chat and let me know. I'll try to pull this up on my phone. Looks like we're good. Yeah, is the sound good? Can you guys hear me okay? Let's see. Yeah, we got it. <laughs> Haven't done a live stream in forever. You know, back for the first time. Um, what's going on, everybody? Uh, Mr. Corey Madden, always good to see you. How you doing, sir? All right, all right. So without further ado, let's make it do what it do. Uh, today we are talking about Bitcoin BTC to the USD and um, we will be doing a uh, live price analysis on TradingView. As I mentioned, I haven't done a video in a while and I think this is a very, very, very important time in the market. Uh, so um, let's jump right into it, man. Let's get this little rocket countdown going. Beep, 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 beep. Right. Like a boss. Live from the USA helping you get paid every day. This is the boss of Bitcoin, the Cristo of crypto. It's your boy BK. And if you don't like me, you must not like money. Thank you for joining me, everybody. As I mentioned, BTC to the USD. This is on a 343 complement of the boss method. It's a very, very, very easy and proven methodology to help you make money in the market. So if you haven't done it, already subscribe right now join the money team come on in the doors are always open 25,000 of my best friends have already done it uh so join that red button hit the thumbs up i'm trying to do a live stream right now i'm trying to do one of these uh as often as possible especially when i think it's major 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 movements happening in the market so again uh, if you appreciate this content hit that thumbs up i appreciate you so let's look at Bitcoin. This is going all the way back to uh, this cycle that started right here in um, February of 2019, right? In order to know where you're going, you got to know where you've been. And uh, right here, you can see Bitcoin uh, has basically completed one part of that cycle. And that was capped off right here between the 4.2 and the 4.6. Uh, and that was north of like 12,000, right? Now keep in mind, we had another big, big, big run about um, 12 months before that uh, into 2017 that took us north of 20,000. So actually, uh, this is a micro uh, cycle inside a much bigger, bigger cycle, right? So one thing, let's see if we can do. We, let's like fade that down a little bit. You know, put it in purple and jump out yeah, over to, let's see what the daily shows us, right? Bam, right? So again, uh, it's very easy to get trapped and lost in the moment, but you can see that this is indeed just a section of that, right? Because if you do a Fibonacci on this one, boom, boom, right? Now you're starting to see we're getting all these different levels of congruence here uh, in between the 2-2 and 3-2. Uh, but nonetheless, this is a very pivotal and important time uh, in the market. And that is why I'm making this video, right? So let's delete this, you know, delete that, you know, right? And so... What we have is we're basically flatlining right here inside this golden triangle. We're flatlining right there on top of the 3.2 Fibonacci, right? What does that mean? That means that we still have macro momentum to the up. Um, but because it's running flat, you also have this downward pressure coming from the long, especially when you go out to the uh, daily, and I showed you this thing basically went all the way from 18,000 down to 12,000, and today it's at 9,000, right? And it's almost kind of like in this straight line linear uh, regression. And so essentially we have a very, very, very big decision that Bitcoin is going to need to make in the very near and dear future, right? 
and uh, we can color that box yellow so it stands out like that. Now, one thing I noticed when I was putting this chart together is that the last time this happened, it really wasn't a good situation for BTC. And essentially what I'm talking about is when um, you have a situation inside the chart, and this is over the course of months. Like if we look at this, you know, when this whole trend started right here, this is going back almost 81 days, right? And Bitcoin has been, you know, waving, you know, up and down 12% uh, inside of 80 days. That basically means all of that energy that was dispensed and dispelled between 3,000 and 12,000, all of that energy right in here has now since consolidated and confined itself for three months inside a very, 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 very small channel, right? And so again, uh, energy just like water does not like to be constricted, confined. It will always seek to expand itself. It will always seek uh, to be free, you know? And um, that's that's and, and when it breaks out, it's going to break out or break down. There is no, you know, if, ands or buts about it. This is shaping up to be a major, major move. But uh, one thing I wanted to show you guys in this video, let me check the comments, make sure everybody's good. JJ, no money. What's going on? Good to see you. Um, you know, the, the squad is in the building uh, is I saw this right here. This is basically essentially the exact same setup we have uh, to where we kind of have a flat line price baked into it. And that price back here was a much better price. Let's see, right? That was kind of our stabilization price. It kept bouncing and bouncing and bouncing. That was at like 9,400, right? And then we kind of did this uh, descending wedge formation until it literally just kind of broke down. And then it came right back up to 9,400 and got smacked back down, all the way down, I think like 6,800, somewhere in there. And so we could have a very very similar situation to where we do kind of like a microchasm of that uh, inside this descending width right here to where kind of like this floor that's been built in probably like what, 88, 92, somewhere in there, right? That floor that's built into there we start to reject on that floor and that, that will drop us essentially below $8,800, right? We can stretch it down just a little bit. That would drop us below $8,800. And then uh, we would probably fall to around 82 to somewhere 78, 88. All I'm doing, I'm looking at these different loops over here. You got a loop right there. You got a big loop right there, a big loop right there. So that's probably where we would fall to. So we would probably do something like that. Bounce back up and then reject again. That's looking if it goes down, right? Um, the market makers have not yet decided what they're going to do. All I'm doing is showing you what's possible. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people get lost in the moment and want to be cheerleaders and put their pom-poms on and, and hope. You know what I'm saying? Let's hope that it goes up. I don't hope. I, I, I deal in reality, right? Um, we do have net negative momentum pushing us lower. Uh, we do have quick positive momentum that has pushed us higher a little bit. And um, now we're kind of sitting in between limbo land, right? And so that's the opportunity. If you want to play it to the up, uh, just know that it won't be going up until we stand long and strong north of uh, 10,000, probably 10.2 to 10.8. You know, then we could then we could look at Bitcoin running at 12.5, 12.8. You know, and also forming a double top to put us up north of 16. That hasn't happened. So uh, now we're looking at a net neutral to net negative situation, and that's what that chart shows you, uh, to where we do have this descending wedge that again is, uh, you know putting downward pressure from the inside kind of on this quick median line at $9,800. But once that fails, or I'm sorry, $9,200. Once that fails, if that fails, then we'll probably be going all the way down uh, to 76, right? 78, 76. It's not much support there in the H. That was kind of a quick escalation level. And so when you when you break through it, you kind of kind of will expect the elevator to fall. So it's like if the elevator takes you up real quick, then when you go back down on the other side, the elevator is going to take you down just as fast. Right. 
Um, and so again, this is this is the opportunity. I think when we look at BTC and what it offers, what it provides, what it facilitates uh, in our new universe, um, these are the opportunities. Real quick, I forgot to do this. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I got all these slides put together. I do have a channel on library uh, at Bitcoin LBRY. If you haven't uh, checked that out, please do. It's a uh, uh, 100 percent completely free decentralized social media platform and your boy got uh, the number one handle on that death thing so uh check it out at library on at bitcoin on library in addition to that crypto bubbles as i mentioned we are net negative uh on the long term but we are net positive on the quick term right so this is the weekly right if we look at crypto bubbles this is the daily I'm sorry, this is the daily and you can see it's a lot of red, a lot of red in there. But when you go to the week and even the month, everything literally changes. And again, that's because we are in between two very, very, very big cycles. We also have a free Telegram group. Um, the link is in the description for you guys. Uh, I think it's the number one Bitcoin group in the world on Telegram, like 600, 700 people in that group. And we also have some news articles that are facilitating mainstream adoption to financial technology, digital currency, so to speak. Uh, this is what Bitcoin is based on. Um, and so take it as you like it. Uh, Bank of America CEO, we want a cashless society, right? Uh, what is once, uh, what was once, you know, kind of like a, uh, unspoken truth like they were literally pushing us uh digital um and then bitcoin kind of came out of nowhere and and uh, took the world by storm but now uh they're kind of back to pushing it again like you can't even get change at some gas stations now uh you know especially here on the west coast like they're not even giving you quarters back pennies back right uh so essentially this is a move a very big move to push a cashless society and this is straight from the horse's mouth over there at Bank of America, CEO Brian, I don't know his last name, kicked off Fortune's Integral Financial Conference by discussing the tech-driven strides may be uh, made by one of the country's largest financial institutions. Let's see, 27 million customers, look at that, 27 million mobile customers, right? Peer-to-peer, -peer, mobile, digital transactions, they already got 27 million of them. 37 million digital so they got another 37 million you know that's that's coming in on the computer they got 27 on their cell phone 37 on their computer and more than half already digitized this is the opportunity for btc this is the opportunity for blockchain right and some people will say oh well they might use ripple they might use uh one of these other protocols i don't care as long as it's digital money Guess what? Bitcoin is the granddaddy of them all and Bitcoin uh, will receive value from that transaction, right? As long as people are sending money back and back and forth, back and forth through a digital uh, interface, BTC is the number one protocol in the world for blockchain. And blockchain is light years uh, ahead of the SWIFT network, which is what most of these uh, Fortune 100 dinosaurs currently run on today. Look it up, Lexus Nexus. It was built in the early 80s. And these people are still using it to move billions of dollars a day. It's literally a joke. Um, and that's why BTC is here. Uh, and that's why it's literally not going anywhere. So again, in closing, I would encourage you to never let this opportunity go to waste. While the rest of the world is literally covering their faces in fear of each other, you can open your mind and expose yourself to newfound knowledge, to the true workings of the world, and oh, by the way, to this one revolutionary uh, mathematical methodology called the boss method brought to you by yours truly. So that's all I got for you guys today. It's going to be a major move, but as long as Bitcoin is still squeezing between 92, 88, 96, somewhere in there, as long as it's north, essentially of uh, $8,800, then we're just waiting to see what the powers that be will do, right? And so I uh, thank you very much. If you in the chat, let me tell you something. Shout your country out, shout your city out. I'm gonna show y'all some love. We got 27 whole people rocking out with me right now, man. 
You know what I'm saying? I'm glad I thank you for each and every one of you guys, man. Uh, at one point, I tell you what, I was getting about five, six, seven, eight hundred, eight hundred uh, live streaming with me. But I tell you what, uh, Rome was not built in a day, and so we go build it back brick by brick. Uh, Mythological Fields in Cali, what's going on? Uh, Blazer Media said Buffett, Warren Buffett sold all his shares of. Let me let me read it it's on the screen. Warren Buffett sold all his shares in Wells Fargo and went all in on Bank of America. That really, to me, that really doesn't make a difference. That's like swapping, you know, uh, swapping a dollar worth of dimes for a dollar worth of nickels. You still got a dollar. You know, they're still dealing in the hierarchy of cap capitalized. Uh, what is it? Uh, cap what? Uh, capitalism, right? And so it doesn't matter if it's Chase, TD Ameritrade, Wells Fargo, Goldman Sachs, they're all playing for the same team. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? Who cares? Who cares? That doesn't that doesn't mean one ounce a bit of difference for me. And oh, by the way, Warren Buffett owns Berkshire Hathaway, which oh by the way, bought Circle, which oh by the way, bought Bitrix, I'm pretty sure. Bitrix or one of Poloniex, one of those. One of those exchanges. So he already owns Bitcoin. He owns the subs he owns the entity that owns the entity that owns Bitcoin. You know, so he's like three people removed, but he's still getting paid off the blockchain. Make no mistake about it. Right? Hi is a pie over here. <laughs> All right, good to see you. Thank you for joining. Thank you for joining. Um looks like an imminent move. Yes, 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 it does. All right, cool. And if you do want a shout out, if you, you didn't get shown any love, it was really only one person that kind of shouted their city out, uh, do it in the comments. Drop your name, your city, your country. You know, let the people know where you're coming in from, and I will make sure to get to you guys in the next video. So, with that being said, everybody, it's that time of the day. Signing out. Boss. Boy BK, no matter where you stay. Brazil to Bay, a California IA. All the way back out through Jerk Money. Good night, good morning, and good day. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for your time. Hit that thumbs up button for a player one time. Do that for me if you appreciate mine. Till we meet again, stay cryptic, y'all. Peace. Like a boss. Huh. 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 Huh.